first of all, I want us to look at why we know we're living in the last days. Why we know we're living close to the rapture, the tribulation period, and the uh, physical return of Jesus Christ to this earth. And then, what is going to soon happen? You know, the things that are about to happen, the changes that are about to take place. There are many signs, but I just want us to focus on this one passage this morning. Let's look at sign number one. In the last days, it'll be very difficult to be a Christian, according to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Now, it's very difficult to be what a real Christian is supposed to be. We've got a lot of people today that call themselves Christians, but they're not real Christians. They don't act like Jesus, don't talk like Jesus. Uh, they don't emphasize the things that Jesus emphasized. That's what a Christian really is. A real Christian cannot accept homosexuality as an acceptable alternative lifestyle. Comments been made because uh, that uh, say you're not being Christ-like. Yes, we are being Christ-like because Christ did not condone sexual immorality. And what it says is that in the last days, immorality is going to be accepted and it's going to be difficult to stand up for what ought to be standing up for. Yet we have these people today who are saying that Christian people ought to be loving people, they ought to be caring people, they should not be speaking out against homosexuality becoming an acceptable alternative lifestyle. The Bible makes it very clear and very plain that it's an abomination, it's detestable. And, uh, but it's hard to be a real Christian today to stand up for biblical values. And the Bible says that's a sign that we're living in the last days. You know, our assembly and those who are sporting the homosexual ordinance, they're thinking nothing of it. Homosexuality is immoral. It's, it's a perversion. It's unnatural. But they don't think anything about making an acceptable alternative lifestyle. This is a sign that we're living in the last days. Day. It says people will be tough, be rough and cruel, and sneer at those who try to do good. Verse number three of Second Timothy chapter three. You take Carrie Freejohn, Miss California. She was trying to do good. Look what they did to her. Look at our governor, Sarah Palin. Whether you agree with whether she should have resigned or not, you will agree that she's been picked on more than any other person. You know why? Because she stands up for basic values that this nation was founded upon. That's a sign of the times of those who will sneer at those who try to do good. You who've been standing up trying to do good in this community to keep morality here in this community and keep homosexuality from becoming an acceptable alternative lifestyle that would then lead your children or other people's children into this perverted, disease lifestyle, you were sneered at, you're being fun at, you're made fun of, you're being accused of not being educated, you've been accused of being a bigot, a bigot and all of that. That's a sign that we're living in the last days. You know who the heroes are today? The heroes are today are the child abusers, the, uh, those who are hung up on drugs, and those who have been married four and five and six and seven and eight times. He's coming back. He's saying, I've had it, and I'm coming back to take over. I wanted you to do it. I wanted you to choose to let me be king of kings and lord of lords, but you wouldn't, and so I'm coming back to take over. Well, that's not the kind of God I serve. Well, I don't know what kind of God you serve, but that's the kind of God that this book talks about. But mankind thinks the earth is his. Governments think their, their country is theirs, and they can ignore God. We think we can ignore God and pass laws like we're trying to do right here in Anchorage that are against God and hurting God's standards and still be blessed and still get by. We're living in the last days. In Noah's day, you said, well, God would never do something like this. You know, folks, remember that God destroyed this whole world one day with a flood. Why did he do it? Because man's thoughts were on evil continually. The society got so rotten, and that's why I chose First Tim or Second Timothy chapter 3 to say, let's just look at these. Our world today has gotten so rotten, God is sick and tired of it, and he's going to cleanse it again, just like he did with the flood. And you better get right with God before the rains of the tribulation period begin, because then, then... It'll, you'll be left behind, left behind. You know, people forget about Sodom and Gomorrah. People forget that one day God said, I'm sick and tired of sodomy and the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he sent some people down to warn Lot and said, get your family out. His sons-in-laws laughed and made fun of him. They laugh and make fun of Christians today. It's hard to be a Christian. They laugh and make fun of us who believe like we believe. The literal Bible is the literal word of God. But when that fire began to fall, they stop laughing. We're living in the last days. Jesus could rapture us out at any moment.